returns. Oh god, what the fuck. Oh yeah, oh, right now live stream is only showing me my webcam, so I can easily uh, yeah, what's our URL again? Can actually can anyone share the URL of this uh, this live stream page? Yeah, 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 there you go. Ross is Ross is shared. Uh, hang on. Is this thing working? Like, can you can can anyone see this? Okay, cool. No, oh, yeah. Okay, so how do I get? The, okay, wait a minute. No, no, it's not this. No, where the hell was that? It's supposed to be. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It's this. Now, now does it work? Oh, actually, yes. Um, you're still in the bottom left corner, but is that intentional? I think so. Now, what's in the bottom left corner? You, you are. a tiny window. No. Oh, wait a it's minute. a desktop view, though. It's not it's a game. A tiny view. window into Arvin. What the hell? How do I, like now? I can't even see this. Alright, there you go. On to my other display. Yeah, sorry what for like, for our viewers. Sorry for the. Uh, what the hell is live stream? Like, who programs this shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's open broadcaster. Yeah, I mean, open broadcaster drops frames. The main problem. It does. Connection. Like it drops like frames a lot. Basically, like shows What's you your upload that, speed? Uh, it's I don't know, like what. 256 kbps maybe like, oh you got better than i do that's no, pretty like, shameful that, for me that's the small b so it's probably like 64. When you have oh okay now where are the fucking settings oh and anyone can, can actually can anyone hear uh, yourself oh i need to turn the sound on uh no because hello because, self yeah we need to know if you can, you people can hear you speaking in the stream. Hello, Joe. Yes, I can hear myself. Cool. cool. Okay. Uh, it's posted a live stream, so they should be trickling in. Let me see if I can hear me. No, I'll have anything else to say. I know, <sighs> how do I like like live stream? Was supposed to have uh, this thing where it where you can uh, tweak the area of your screen you're broadcasting on. Yeah, you should be able to like click a drag. <laughs> oh right. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, it was it. Oh what happened? What happened? Oh fuck. This is too Testing, one two. I actually have no idea what's currently going on because I'm not in the stream. What's happening? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with live stream procaster. Window, yeah, exactly. Confusion Window madness. Over, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see. Okay, that's that's mostly working. You do have black bars on the left and right side for no obvious reason. Well, that's probably well, because like, this is like I don't know. Like, live stream doesn't like this aspect ratio. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. But then, like your your box with you in it is overlapping the black bars, like it knows it's bigger. I don't. Uh. You know what? I like this. It's good. Is this like? Did that remove me? Like. Oven's gone now. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So, so yeah. Okay. That this this is this is good. Okay. Let's do this. Uh -huh. On the subject. Let, 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 let's do this, Lero. <laughs> hey, we got a couple of viewers. Hey, hello, viewers, what's up? I think a guy just left as soon as I said a couple of viewers. So that's, I'm that's not here. pretty much a hard stream on the nutshell. 
Oh, that was me. I just didn't want to watch myself listen to Avin twice. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's fair. Anyway, good morning, people. Uh, I'll be around for a while. Uh, I'll actually have to head out to my other job in a few minutes, but yeah. I, I'm Ritz Garn. I'm the lead writer. Uh, yeah, I'm Arvind, like the program and the person who like, actually does anything. I, I, make, I made all the graphics. <laughs> I'm Ross, I do the scripts. I'm Jaffa, I'm doing the animation. And yeah. And I guess I'm like crime. the other guy doing scripts. I was actually waiting for somebody to say, and, and I'm shameless, because like, that's how it's going <laughs> Yeah. It's more I think like we have a little too much cohesion and clarity of purpose to the <laughs> die cast. Yeah. Nobody talked over each other. Like, how is that even possible? <laughs> I, uh, I I wasn't there for recording the last one, but apparently they spent the entire time complaining about fourth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, what do you stream... Um, locally for that. Uh, for for what? Like you you don't use live stream, do you? No, we use uh for for spoiler warning we use um. Uh, I actually don't know what we use. It's not my kind of software. But uh, anyway, I, we we digress a little too far, especially considering yeah. probably not all the yeah. viewers watch uh, the diecast and spoiler warning, although they all should, of course. Yeah, so uh, yeah, any questions at any time, just post them in the chat. We will be uh, in any particular uh, like department, then the person responsible will answer that. And, yeah, and otherwise, we are just we, roaming around our levels. Yeah, because you see, I mean, you've seen these levels before, but you see, we've added a few details to this one, uh, you know, like yeah. this one. We'll show you the new levels actually. Let's start with those, then we'll come back to these. Yeah, let's open those. You know, we've had plenty of streams just sort of lingering around in the, the farms. And so let's, let's, let's cut straight to the, the new content. Okay, what's the expected release date at this time? Uh, that's a little up in the air, but... Late May, uh, I'd say, yes. Late May is, yeah, currently what we're, we're shooting for. We're not going to be out of money at that point, but, you know, we, we've... No, we have, we have uh, that, that, that's now, right? Yeah, so, so yeah, nobody's yeah. there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just kidding, by the way, not actually out of money, so. <laughs> no, I've actually got some more money to send you, by the way. Hey, yeah, I just won the lottery, apparently, but yeah, uh, okay, so, so yeah, like, late May, that's the idea. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes, like, ultimately, we don't want to rush this, uh, but, but I don't think any delays will be, like, more than two weeks, maybe three weeks, something like that. Yeah. It kind of looks like the guy is surfing that body over there. Yeah, that bro, that isn't positioned properly, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I fixed this error. Like, Ross, maybe you like merged something and you took your version. I'm pretty sure I fixed oh, it. Oh, actually, I haven't uh, seen the sprite in action yet. This is my first time. Yeah, yeah, this guy is... Yeah. We will, uh, these levels are the city levels, so they're more zoomed out compared to, uh, let me show you how this is, so just see the, the size of this guy right now, like the player character, and yeah, these are the, no, so, you, so these levels are more zoomed in, so the idea is to give you more of a like scale of where you are, and at the same time also show off more of the environment. And give you kind of a sense of how small you are in the greater scheme of yeah. These players, but then you get to the slums and everything's claustrophobic and cramped and narrow. Yeah, uh, that's kind of. I wanted to uh, tell you this for the philosopher. Uh, make this dial guy's dialogue roughly the same, but uh, with with uh, like reply options of more appropriate to this player character. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I mean, this guy's basically just there to like you know sort of recruitment type thing. He's just yeah, he's just crazy out there on the street all day. Yeah, yeah. So, and this guy should also have his like uh, appropriate dialogue based on like conversation between these two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, 
Okay, what else? Is that guy still there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this guy can be still here. Uh, this guy can this guy can remain where he is. But these these other people, yeah, they need to move more to the center. Like, I don't know. Like right now, it just feels excited is sort of weird. And this guy's like, like, uh, like these guys. Where did their chairs go? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's always a good question. This game, yeah. when you just see some people, some <laughs> random peasant Vic, wizard Vic hanging around. Vic did say put like, them down. So. I'll supply the chairs. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so these yeah. two people. I'll, need, I'll, I'll get to that too. Yeah, these two people need like chairs or stools or something. Yeah, to sit on. <laughs> um, I, I was I was gonna say that uh, for the uh, extra dialogue, I'll push that today. Uh, when, when I push the journal entries as well. Okay. That's, that's on my list. Okay. Uh, yeah, and as for the black market, uh, yeah, I'm not uh, like right now. Like, I'm I'm not uh, like I need Ratskan to figure out just what kind of dialogue would be appropriate because I don't think like do we have any specific dialogue for this section yet? Yeah, I, I think I think there's a well. Obviously, the black marketer has his dialogue with Bagwan, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think uh. I, I can easily I like I have I have, I have ideas for a few things like okay, cool. um, I might just sort of reference that quest that I th sort of came up with but never really we ne we decided not to implement basically just the idea that like in the black market guys might actually use priests as go betweens like between uh, this part of the city and the other just to sort of demonstrate how mercenary some of Ranvir's priests can be and how far like they've fallen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and also another thing is like uh, we need something to happen in this area, like which which I'm standing now. Yeah. Like right mm -hmm. now. Uh, yeah. So figure out something for this. Yeah, I'm not sure if we want uh, Vagrant or the uh, starting kid there, but I left them there just to as a reminder that they do exist or did exist. Yeah. I mean, I'm, How about like an argument that but that you can walk in on and maybe try to help resolve or something. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'll add that. Let me uh, make a note of this. I'll be coming back uh, in a, just going in for another eight hours. So I'll, after the end, after that, I'll uh, okay. put this stuff on. Yeah, I do like this one touch actually, like um, this moving necklace. Yeah, I do like this. Like in the zoomed out thing, I didn't even notice, but here I can see. I'm not sure if our viewers can see this. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, like uh, our viewers, uh, do, what do you think about about these new levels? Like any particular uh, thing that's made you kind of curious about, like why is this this person here and that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to throw any questions our way. I'll be another uh, five or six minutes. I like those towers. Yeah, they look pretty cool, yeah. Kind of wonder if they'd actually be manned at this point. Uh, no, the, like, these types of towers aren't there for manning. Like, they are ornamental, purely. Really? That's yeah. interesting. Because I was just kind of thinking to myself, those things don't look super practical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, but, in, uh... like, ancient Indian architecture is more based on a rule of pool than you think. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah, like, you know, just have like 500 spires in a single building because like, you know, what's what's more cooler than 499 spires? Oh, so it's like the gothic architecture principles at work. <laughs> yeah. Just do you have detail? Have all the detail. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I... I... I mean, like, usually what uh, what used to happen was you had two types of buildings. 
the ones that were uh, like used for actual like practical purposes so if you have a fort like that's the difference between a palace and a fort like a fort is made very practically like we have forts that were built like 1000 years ago they're still standing so, and like they had like all those like protected towers like uh, and then like holes in the walls so you can pour boiling oil upon people who are trying to board that kind of thing and then you had the palaces which were like totally rule of cool kind of thing right sort of like to borrow the aesthetic of more practical military structures mm -hmm. but just to sort of yeah yeah that makes sense yeah. I mean, I, so I, I guess one of the, yeah, go ahead. the questions I would have is with that last area is that like that that sort of extreme of the wall is that just referencing kind of where the slums have been uh, yeah. growing on the edge of the actual city? Yeah, I think here especially. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I that's that's definitely how I uh, definitely how I interpreted it. That's that's I like that. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying uh, that you liked. Uh, yeah, no, no, I was actually, uh, I've forgotten what I was saying. Like, but yeah, basically the idea is that like uh, ancient Indian archi architecture, people looked at Final Fantasy and thought, yeah, that's the uh, aesthetic we want to emulate. And then they just made all these crazy castles. In it. Make me a tower of belts. <laughs> or maybe it was the other way around. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah. yeah. We should probably, you know, actually just have a kind of hack type level which has like, which, which makes you no clip and like, so you can sort of <laughs> just roam around this building because you can't even see where this ends right now because we have this, this sort of uh, added collisions to this to prevent players from going on. It, depending on how much detail is, I think it would almost be worth it to have like a pan over from the right side. Yeah. Before you start the actual level as an animation. Uh, no, I mean not that. Definitely not that. Because that's just annoying. Like, it's true. Well, I, I just meant the first time you show up. Maybe still taking about too much control from the player though. Yeah, like no, not really. Uh, and another thing actually, like these people who are here for like food, like they, we need them to be properly like sitting in a, like in, in a couple of rows. Because that's how it's usually done. Okay. I I picture a disorganized mob, so that's why they're a disorganized mob. Yeah. It's I not mean, laziness. It doesn't really make sense because you have like four or five soldiers right here, right? I mean, it, if it right. was a disorganized mob, they'd probably do something about it. So you just have like people who are, you know, like uh, in orderly lines, a couple of lines, and we need more of these people. Right now, this is just like, you know, work in progress. So that's why there's so little of them. But yeah, we need more of these people. Mm -hmm. uh, is this because I've loaded the save or wait, this is what happens again. Like, where did that person go? Like there was a person oh, wait, there's Yeah, look Ross. This is this is another one of those layered things, right? Yes. I don't yeah. know why that happens. Yeah, we need to figure this out. Uh, maybe what you need to do is to make them a layer below or something like that. I, I did that already uh, by one, but I, I think it's a matter of... What are we talking about? Uh, this, like, uh, the, there, there is a priestess here who, who disappears. Oh, okay. it, yeah, it worked okay until you actually walked in and then walked out again, and then she disappeared and never came back. Yeah, that's probably, like, something to do with that, too, yeah. Wait, now, now she's back. So this means, uh, yeah, this means that this, this is actually associated with some other layer. Because look, now that I'm this far away, like she's back. So yeah, the, the dimensions are wrong and this whole layer thing is also kind of wrong. How close mm -hmm. I'm to guessing it? I've, yeah, I've counted from the wrong direction. Oh yeah, this is, look, as soon as this layer, when this layer is invisible, she's visible. But now look. Yeah, this, this is always the last thing we fix in any given yeah. chapter. 
Yeah, we also need to trade some edge for this guy. Forgot. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I gotta go. Yeah, sure. Oh, anyway, it was it was good to, good uh, doing the stream. I'll see all you guys next month, uh, and also probably in the next update I I write. So. In the meantime, peace. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Oh, what? No, no, somebody in the stream said hello. So I was like, yeah, hello. I think it's... <laughs> hey! Oh my god, that peacock, yeah, that peacock is in position properly, which is kind of, like, this peacock is important to us, alright, so, yeah, this needs to be fixed. Probably position, oh. like, a, a couple of tiles to the left, I'd say. Yeah, with the slabs on the ground in the city, the thought was that it used to be like completely covered with those slabs and proper roads used to be there, but it's kind of slowly run down and people yeah. have stolen them and then they've broken and been displaced and so forth. Yeah. So it's like the golden age of the city is over by yeah, so quite some pleasure, time. Yeah. And also, like, since this is kind of, uh, uh, some of that stuff is nearby the slums, so it's, so it's sort of indicated that, you know, people have used these slabs to, uh, like, make makeshift housing, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, yeah, for, for our uh, viewers who might be in the UK at this point, uh, we will be at rest in um, Asimov's Foundation. Hmm, yeah, that's actually, uh, I'm not sure if I've read that one. I have read a, uh, a bunch of Asimov's stories, but yeah. I, get, I yeah, have it read it, the whole series. Oh, okay, so you'll probably know it better it's, than it's, me. It's, it's, it's one of my favorites, actually. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. yeah it's, it's something like that. They're like, basically everything used to be better. And now it's not. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing that it's not, because otherwise there wouldn't be a game. So, you know. Basically, yeah, that's <laughs> like the whole, whole premise of this game. Yeah. Rest, a game set in modern India. <laughs> yeah, the, this is my favorite suggestion. Can you have a snake person charm and an old Indian man to come out of a basket? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be, yeah. Just have a like big basket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. yeah this, is, this will be just amazing. Yeah, yeah this is definitely going into the bag of, you know, if we have a future. Uh, like expansion with a more lighter tone and this is definitely on the wish list uh, for a second there I, I, I thought you were gonna stop at 
if we have a future. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if, if the old man charmer was like, hey, hey, over here, I got something to show you. <laughs> and then an old man just springs out of the basket. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, the like the seven or eight game will will go to like the news topics, the unrest Ukraine, <laughs> things like that. Yeah. <laughs> But, but, but first, we'll make sure to like you know hide somewhere under the South Pole before we start development yeah. on that game. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Now, what kind of fauna? So yeah, you probably saw so far, a few, uh, birds flying around. See, here's a bird flying. Yeah. So these three are what's planned, and maybe if we have the time, uh, you know, dogs, cats, and and what is the other one? Cows. Yeah, cows. Yeah, because yeah, these three are planned if we like you know, uh, like have the time and budget to do them because they also need sound effects. But yeah, otherwise yeah, we have a couple of birds just flying around here and there. We'll also have a few birds just sitting there. So yeah. And the birds also have sound effects of things. Yeah. Yeah, these rocks are important to the plot, so we won't actually interact with them. These rocks open what is uh, like called the obligatory sewer level in every game. That that wasn't a real thing. So. <laughs> That's another thing to put in the letter tone game. <laughs> Sewers of unrest. <laughs> Hey, I fixed it. Oh. No more vanishing person. Okay, cool. Now also fix that peacock. Yeah, because that's also kind of... Fix that too. Yeah, cool. Uh, see if one screen happens to be coming up. Now, wouldn't Naga eat the dogs and cats? No, not necessarily. I mean, like... Yeah, I mean, they are just another, like, sentient race, you know. So, I mean, like... I mean, in the same way that like humans don't eat dogs and cats, so. Well, sometimes <laughs> they do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sometimes they do, but yeah, not in general. You know, not enough so that like people can still like go out with their dogs and not be afraid that somebody will eat them. You know? So yeah, in the same way, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're probably being like speciesist. I'm not sure what <laughs> that called. <laughs> Although honestly, I think your your cats and dogs would be pretty imperiled in the city right now. Yeah. Uh, another question uh, that I had was uh, like to make in Jafar, uh, how hard would it would it be to animate these uh, white kind of flowery thingies that you have here? The bushes. Yeah, these ones. Yeah. Uh, not hard, I would say. I mean, it won't take a lot of time. Yeah, I, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, because that, really yeah, really these really are really probably good. like a yeah, small size, so wouldn't like take that much space. It, it would just take me a couple of days placing all of them because I put them all over 
basically all the levels. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but other ones that might look pretty good, actually. Yeah, I mean, I'd say you can make, uh, make the animation, then once you're done with all of the other stuff, uh, just go yeah. around yeah, replacing that with these. Uh, the cows would be more emaciated as well. Yeah, I mean, like, in the countryside, probably not, because, like, the countryside people, like, have, I guess, their job, basically. So don't think in the countryside, but, yeah, in the city, probably, yeah. I think the life expectancy of a cow in the slums would be really low. I mean, yeah, it's like, in India, people don't, like, eat cows, you know, so it's like... So... So actually okay. pretty high, yeah. That's, that, that would be kind of an interesting situation than a bunch of people starving in the slums with cows right next to them. <laughs> yeah, that has happened more often than you think, actually. <laughs> okay. It's, it's really funny because like... Uh, like Mick is just casually mentioning this and like yeah and I mean like nobody like just does that in India like like if you would just have told me this without Mick saying this of course then it would never occur to me ever like that's just like how like it's different no one would eat a cow yeah <laughs> come on they're they're awesome they're cute <laughs> who would eat that it does make you wonder, though, because when people are like hungry enough, they tend to eat everything, unless there's a very strong reason not to. So it is very interesting. Yeah. Isn't there kind of like a re religious reason for that? Yeah, that's ex that's exactly why. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Ross, also like this this sprite. Yeah, this sprite is constantly colliding with the terrain, so maybe move her a little upwards. So, uh, like, lady in green? Yeah, no, this one, like the one that I'm standing here, the sort of like green, blue lady, this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just yeah, see how she's constantly colliding, then the collision is resolving, right? Yeah. Uh, would you consider eating a tree or a computer if you were hungry? Probably a tree, because like I'm pretty sure eating a computer is bad for you. Like. Yeah, that, that, that sounds healthy. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'd still need my computer, you know. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. I think for any Europeans and Americans watching, it's, it's like the same thing that in some countries, dogs are actually food and eat. Well, only, yes. Only a few countries and small parts of them, but it actually mm -hmm. does happen. But it's I, I wouldn't kind of find as weird it, for us. It is, but it, but at the same time, I wouldn't find it unthinkable that somebody would eat a dog if they were hungry enough. Like if they were like locked up in some place and the only thing in there was a dog or a rat or something, they'd probably go for it just because it has meat and it has nutritional value and they don't want to die. Well, I'd rather eat the rat, honestly. Because mm, the dog really, would I'd like probably, look like, at I'd you with puppy eyes. Audience. Like, which is better to eat, something like that, yeah. Because I'm not sure, like, yeah, like, no, like, I haven't heard of anyone eating any of these, so. That is actually the character defining question. <laughs> yeah. These are the kind of important uh, life decisions that we talk about on these streams. Oh. Uh, Ross, really, this, if this you guy, guys were actually stuck in it, hmm? uh, Ross, this guy is also have the, has the same issues as the layers. Yeah, oh, uh, Mendy. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. 
and he's also like not in a correct place because he's colliding constantly and there's all yeah, yeah. it's cuz his sprite's too big we don't have a scaled down version yet oh uh jafar could you scale this guy down like yeah no uh one he's um he's mandate for chapter 1 He's the only chapter one character that shows up in this chapter, so you should only have to do him. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, this this guy like it doesn't make sense because why is he inside a house? Like, is that guy supposed to be inside a house? No, that was um that was Harish. Mandeep is the doctor. Oh right, right, right. Okay, yeah. Now now it makes sense. Okay, okay. Yeah. I I think what happened was all my numbers for which layer they were on were off by one. Yeah, the problem because it started from zero, I think. So that's why. I... That would be why. Yeah, it starts from. <laughs> <laughs> that watch a movie called Demolition Man. <laughs> oh, that's that's very very dark. Mr. Starker would eat both and then go on to eat a cow. This is almost like one of those questions you'd ask for, like, at the beginning of Unrest, you have, have a starting class, and it's like, what would you eat first, a rat or a dog? <laughs> yeah, it's a you chose rat. Those, actually, uh, what do you call that? Uh, like, Fallout had those pop culture questions type thing, you know, pop psychology questions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shades of Ultima. Wait, do what? Like, you're off a thing. Or do. Uh, what, does he eat a rat or what? Like what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why didn't your culinary horizons eat a rat? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the interior of the temple. Oh. Clearly, the rat is the Nosferatu. Yeah, I'm just lo I'm looking at Twitter in case somebody has some questions for me there, and like all of my tweet is filled with people saying, you know, fuck daylight savings. Like, <laughs> who likes daylight savings at this point? Farmers? Question mark. Oh, is is it daylight savings time again? Yes, it's awful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, and by the way, make yeah, that these two uh, patches of grass, they are not in their correct layer. Okay, now now I gotta wait for like ten seconds to see which one do you mean? Because I'm watching oh, with a okay. lag. <laughs> yeah, these ones here. Yeah. You mean the ones in front of the pillar? Yeah, these ones, yeah, the, the ones in front of the Okay, door. okay, yeah. yeah one okay. and two, yeah, the ones on the right and the ones on the left. Okay. I'll pick it. So, uh, yeah, any, uh, like, if you guys have any feedback about, like, our uh, sprite designs or uh, anything in general, also let us know. Arwen, it was uh, right when I was changing my headphones, so I maybe didn't hear that completely. Oh, but no, I was saying like if, if somebody had no, any... No, I mean, what? before the stream, did you say anything about good fight for food that you had to then say in the stream? Oh, yeah, like, oh yeah, it's on sale. So, yeah, buy that. Like, let me just post, post the link. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, post it. I am posting. Let me look at this place.
Yes, Mr. Starker already has the team. Yeah. That's more like it, yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's it's there for a dollar. So and you get some a bunch of other games too. So yeah, like yeah, unless you like literally are like you know at the point where you are contemplating eating rats and dogs. So we'll buy that, I guess. <laughs> Somewhere out there, somebody bought Orion Dino Horde and is sitting there going, "No, my ninety-nine cents." <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think my this bundle has Orion Dino Horde. Like, I would not agree to a bundle with <laughs> Orion Dino Horde. In. So yeah, does anybody have any other questions about yeah. the development process or anything like that? Yeah. We have roughly uh, about 15 minutes of streaming left. So yeah, like if you have any questions or anything. Arvin, is your other previous game actually available somewhere to buy as well? Mm, no, I don't think so. It's, it's, it's available for a dollar at my, our website, uh, pyrodactyl.com. Yeah, if you buy it directly for me, uh, uh, the upcoming South Park RPG, I'm not sure. Like From what I've seen of it, the gameplay is sort of, uh, like, doesn't have much depth, but yeah, like, if you like South Park, it's pretty cool. Like, it's basically the show. So I'll probably get it sometime. Like, it's not... I don't think it's launched in India yet. Like, it's, it'll probably have a delay of a month or so. So I'll probably get it once it's out. Like. Although I do wish I did not need you play to play it. I'm not sure if I need that. Yeah, that would have been an interesting challenge for the animators. Um, and by challenge, I mean, like, how do you make it look like a TV show produced on a budget? <laughs> yeah. I, I bet it was more trouble than actually making the show, though. Yeah. Definitely, though. I mean, I think at this point, though, by this, like, how many, I don't know, South Park has had, what, like, 50,000 seasons or so? So they yeah. will probably have a pi art pipeline for this thing. So they probably just like uh, shared that with them. Like if, Their at technology. The yeah, at least the techniques that they use. I mean, I, I remember there being a South Park shooter that was in 3D. And that just looked awful. Like, that was way back then. I actually worked on a mod that was, it wasn't South Park, it was, if you've ever watched like really crappy-ish sort of web cartoons called Madness Combat, my first mod when I was like 14 was Madness Combat 3D, and I actually uh, found a way to make like cell shading backgrounds in all of the source levels. Mm, that's really interesting. Thank you. 
And let's see some dialogue. So anyway, let's can we do one of these things because this is a fairly spoiler-free conversation. So maybe this um, uh, chat can tell me which option to select. Yes, any of the merchants, any of the, oh, and that too, definitely that. We should do a Twitch plays unrest sometime, like once it's out. Yeah. We um, I've actually we could do a developer commentary as someone played through the game. Yeah. Because like I. I've got the pipeline for it already. I do it for my shows. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, we could we could we could do that actually. Yeah. Yeah, that that might be pretty cool. Just do like one playthrough of the game. Uh, if I if I'm recording, I guess I'd be playing it, and then just comment on it. You know, we consensus on the choices, and it shouldn't be too long if we just go yeah. through it. Yeah, we probably yeah we we should do that once we are like we're done with the game. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It just seemed like a, a decent extra to throw into like a. Is there a special edition bundle? Uh, sort of. I believe there is, isn't there? Let me look. If not, we could just throw it in like, here, it's an extra, have it. Yeah, yeah we can probably do that. Yeah, we'll see. That'd be fun. I mean, Unrest has some weird history. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, come on. Like, somebody suggest me something. Like, which option should I pick? Yeah, it's a special edition. Yeah, sure. So, so, yeah, we can do that. Probably a bit hard to read the options. Huh. No, I don't From the screen, so... So you... Defender's Quest commentary. Hmm. Uh, no, I haven't seen that. that. Yeah, I have played Defender's Quest though, and I did not know that it had commentary in it. Like, how do you see? How do you access that commentary? Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll check it out here. And yeah, the, the, right now I can't open this because it would open and, and it would interrupt the stream. Mm, yeah, so, bedlam would ensue. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, like what you're seeing right now is that we have also implemented a point and click movement scheme. So you can like sort of play this like a uh, like with, with only with just the mouse. There's also the Diablo style, uh, like you know, hold mouse button to walk in that direction. Yeah, yeah that's that's actually my preferred moment. I think that it feels the best. Yeah. Because with the isometric view and everything, mm -hmm. I don't know, mouse just feels, feels correct. Yeah. So, yeah, we should basically have... Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, right now, let me count how many input methods we have. We have uh, WASD, keyboard only, we have keyboard plus mouse. Then we have mouse only and we have a controller. So short of Kinect support, we have like basically every uh, input method possible. That's not true. Let me just show you guys what we're missing out on. Wait, what? Play, don't say PlayStation Move. <laughs> Oculus Rift. But that's not an input method, right? I mean, that's more of a... Well, it does track which way your head is facing, I think. Yeah, but... Yeah, but that's, that's kind of hard with a 2D isometric yeah. game. It would be interesting to try, but that's a bit hard. I think you'll find that we're missing out on Steel Battalion control support. <laughs> Wait, but, but isn't Steel Battalion all connect now? And therefore it sucks. Well, you know, the original wasn't. The original had the greatest controller in existence. 
Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it, it was basically like a tank cockpit kind of thing, like 500 or so buttons. Yeah, I had like, I'm just looking at it right now. It's got how many levers? Like two joysticks, um, a volume controller, 15 buttons, <laughs> 16 buttons and three pedals. Oh, and the gear stick. <laughs> oh, does it does it have like like the big O thing you grab with your right hand and slide around in front of you? Um, the, no, the pedals are in full force. Aw. Oh. It does have an eject the C button though. Oh, good. You have to flip up so you can press it. It's not this thing with double as like a a control method for a mech warrior game. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Although I'm pretty sure somebody can bind it if they really want to play Unrest via Steel Battalion controls. Yeah, they can always use X360 CE or something. Yeah. I uh, definitely watch that Let's Play. <laughs> you use the third lever from the right to walk left. <laughs> yeah, you have to actually use the, the pedals to move the feet individually. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that suggested, like, no irony on a, a game, I forget what game it was, but they were saying, like, oh man, think of the immersive controls, you could um, stand in front of your Kinect and raise your feet to move your character, like, individually, like, you know, left and right foot, <laughs> and I was just thinking, oh my god, would that be the most awkward way to move ever? Yeah, because you can't actually move, because the Kinect is, like, two steps in front of yeah, you. Yeah, so. the Kinect is watching you, so you have to, like like, air jog to move your character forward. Which yeah, so feels can... really weird. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, the final uh, five minutes of our stream are left. So yeah, any questions or any other comments or whatever, now is the time. Uh, what are the plans for playtesting? Kidnapping friends and family? Yes, something like that. Yeah. I mean, uh, we'll probably uh, do uh, ask a few Kickstarter backers once the entire game is finished. Because uh, like with plot-sensitive uh, RPGs, it's kind of weird to ask you to uh, playtest something, right? Because uh, if, you, if you tweak the dialogue or something, then it's kind of... So yeah, we'll probably just ask friends and family. And... Uh, release the build a little bit early for Kickstarter backers to just like, you know, uh, yeah, before the, the general public is sort of given the, the thing. So yeah, that's that's our general plan. Like we haven't really thought that much about it for now. But yeah, that's what we are uh, thinking about. Yeah, and definitely the first wave is just playing it a whole bunch of times by ourselves. Yeah. To get like the all of the really big stuff out of the way. Yeah, God of Cookery will definitely get a like uh, the release because I'm I'm fairly certain like you'll probably uh like uh, yeah, we'll probably email you because I'm pretty sure, like, if, if your username is the same as the one that was before, then we can definitely email you uh, an early build, yeah. Uh, Mr. Stave, yeah, we have already actually done that a couple of times. Uh, like, just given that to somebody who has no idea about the game. Uh, that was one of the reason uh, we implemented this point-and-click movement scheme, actually. Because a person was like, yeah, like they didn't, uh, some persons, like some people don't really get a WASD movement, you know. For them, point and clicking is way more intuitive. Plus, when you're interviewed by reporters, you can be like, oh, look, I have point and click movement. It's more like a tablet. 
Yeah, I guess so. I really was interested in why the, the focus on, oh, it's not a mobile game. Is it a mobile game? Is that big in India? Uh, yeah, that like right now, basically in any conference or anything, people are like, oh yeah, if, if it's not a mobile game, then there's no point in making it. That kind of thing. I think mobile games are pretty much very big everywhere right now. Yeah. They are, yeah. But um, we are actually like uh, mostly the traditional game players who played games for like 10, 15 years or so. We haven't really noticed it, but uh, mobile games have gotten really huge lately. And basically everyone's playing them. They have, and but they all seem to have a similar... Business-wise as well. There's a huge amount of money in there. However, so, uh, you yep. can't just like use the same principles as the like a traditional game for that. They just have to be like 10-15 uh, second loops and then like you know have to be addictive. Have to, like nowadays like uh, yeah, I was actually like talking to a, a sort of you know you have those accelerators who give you money to uh, like pre uh, incorporate your startup that kind of thing. So I right. just met that guy at a conference and I was talking to him and his uh, Whole thought process was the first thing he asked me was is is your game a mobile game? So I was like no. So he was kind of sort of shocked. He was like what? The, like he was thinking what the fuck? Who is this guy making <laughs> a mobile game? The second thing he asked me was is it free to play? So when I was like no. So at that point that guy was looking at me like I was from another planet or something. He was like just who is this person who dares to make a non free to play non mobile game? So, and then, yeah, so at that point, yeah, like that guy, like pretty much like I had lost that guy. So, it, so after that, his whole think... thing was like, okay, then his third question was, okay, so you have a premium game. That's what he called me. So then he, so then his whole uh, question was, how do you plan to monetize it? So I was like, I don't know, maybe I just like add a fourth dialogue option to every conversation that if you pay 99 cents, it solves everything and everything <laughs> And everything is awesome, and everything is fun, and <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was really weird, you know, like talking to a person like that. Yeah. It, it's funny because it's obvious he thought of games as like entirely a product with no artistic value at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's kind of the point. Mobile games, uh, in the last two years, the business has gotten so big that yeah. all sorts of business people who actually have no idea what games are and never ever play games want to get into that business and that's and where all of these games uh, come the from which that, are uh, like since since many people who have no idea about games play these so they have a lot of like exploitative psychological tactics yeah exactly yeah. Uh, outside of the temple, maybe a place where people take off slippers. Hmm. That is actually a good idea. Yeah, I mean, where people take off shoes and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely yeah tr do that. Yeah. Shouldn't take too much time. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, what Mr. Starker says is pretty much true. Like, yeah, nowadays people, like, yeah. It's kind of like too, like it's gone too much on the other side, you know, like you, you, if you have a, a balance between making money and making a good artistic product, then it's... I think uh, it's it's basically a bubble right now and it's it's going to burst soon. Yeah, like the Facebook... Or game ma maybe it already has for like a month or so. Because it's, yeah. it's so flooded really with need... so yeah, many exactly. games that are all so similar and... Some like eventually people are even new gamers are going to get wise to it. I think it's like basically all the stuff with the uh, Flappy Bird uh, and uh, after Flappy Bird got taken down, there was like two thousand clones, like it's literally two thousand. Because when you think about it, it's almost doing it's almost collapsing from the other end as well with AAA games running out of money, stuff like yeah. Thief and. Uh, what oh, was the other one? Irrational and uh, Bioshock. Yeah, I mean, maybe all of games are a fad. 
like maybe in 10 years nobody <laughs> will play games at all like no i, I think that indie games are actually still on the rise and yeah I'm hoping it'll sort of balance out in the middle and we'll wind up with some like mid-range game studios that can actually make games that have targeted a specific audience rather than being either yeah. giant giant games or indie games that are limited by like in scope by how many people they have and how much money yeah. they have. <laughs> yeah, that, this suggestion is actually nice. Maybe if you want to return the world of Unrest to its former days of glory, please play the piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It would be nice if you would just have like small icons all over the place. Like, do you want to renovate this building? Pay hundred bucks if you want. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that like the plot of Epic Mickey? No, I have not played Epic. I don't know how I know about it. I've certainly never played it. Uh, no, I think that was like oh oh it was. <laughs> Yeah, definitely more work for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, the final couple of minutes of our stream. So, yeah, any questions, any feedback, anything in general? Basically, if you mail me 100 rupees directly, then sure, I'll renovate the building. <laughs> yeah. Ma like then mail you, a, now, mail you a new new tile, tile sheet back. Yeah. 10 days from now, Mick is just going to like, you know, open his door and then suddenly like full of uh, uh, like envelopes full of 100 rupees. <laughs> uh, any wells? Yeah, there are a couple of wells actually. Uh, they're not in this part of the place, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a walk to them, but yeah, they are there. Uh, yeah, this actually reminds me of uh, the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood games and like every Assassin's Creed after that. It also had the same thing, right? Although it wasn't like a uh, real currency, but it was kind of like that. You buy gold and then you renovate it. And then you get more gold from it. So eventually, just like a wave of gold. Yeah, I don't know how the game designer overlooked that. It was basically, you spend gold now to make more gold later. And I was like, spend, 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 spend. And yeah. then, at the, and then <laughs> my returns were enormous. Yeah, and then like in late game, like money just stopped having any value. Because like I could just go to my uh, like villa and just like get a million bucks or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, because the, the money you spent making money generating uh, equipment gave you more money with which to buy yeah. more money generating equipment, and it just snowballed way out of control. Yeah, it was just, yeah, it was like, it it was great commentary on the way the world is, uh, like, listed, I guess, like, if you want to give them too much credit, it's like the rich get richer. I suppose, but there was no, like, way for you to lose money. Uh, are all Your the, investments like, couldn't destroy themselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There was no risky investment. It wasn't like, oh yeah, this is it's an art shop in the middle of the street, in the middle of a like slum or something. Who's gonna buy yeah. it? Yeah, it was like all profitable all the time. You spent money on a thieves guild, which gave you money back for God's sake. How does that work? <laughs> yeah, uh, are all the temples flat topped, i.e., no domes? Yeah. No, don't think so. Like that would just be too much work. Like we can't draw many temples. Like we can just draw one and like a couple of variations of that. So that's uh, the reason. The dome, dome things make it look a bit too Muslim as well. Yeah. Uh, not really. Uh, it's more like uh, it's not period appropriate, I guess, because uh, like that architecture is Indian too. It's not like India okay. doesn't have domed. Uh, temples and stuff. It's like it's a, that's medieval, like so. Like I'm like it would look pretty cool actually. Like I'm pretty sure we have a dome building in the village. Hang on, let me. Yeah, just we definitely yeah. we have a few. Yeah, we do have a dome building here. Like, let me just show you where it is. I was also gonna say I I bet there are more vaults than there are domes. Mm, yeah. 
uh, vaults being like an inverted dome. When you walk inside of a building and you look up and there's a dome carved out of the ceiling. Yeah, I, I don't remember seeing those much though. Like, I'm not sure. Most of my architecture is limited to like churches and other similar things. My architecture knowledge, I should say. Well, I, I've been to a church like two times, like, and that was like when I was in Goa. So they're not really. Yeah, this is the dome building. Like. So yeah, kind of like that. There are, there are a few of those inside the city as well. Yeah, in the city as well, like gen general like the, buildings that kind of thing. The city is pretty varied, actually. All sorts yeah. of different roof and window and so forth styles. So yeah, yeah. Uh, any final questions, or else, or we'll sign off. Yeah. That looks like a definitive nope. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for watching, and yeah, we'll see you guys next month. No, only one make only one. The stream. <laughs> we talked about that <laughs> earlier. We had three mix in the call. Yeah. 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 We are, like due to budget budgetary restrictions, only one make was available for the stream. Yeah, I had to send all of the clones away. Yeah. Yeah, Estonia has severe laws against yeah, this kind of thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> Productivity is severely, severely slowed down due to only one make. <laughs> you know, I just yeah. thought of like the worst way we could monetize the game would be to put it up as early, um, early access on Steam, and then when people wanted conversation options they don't have, they send the conversation options to me and I script them in. <laughs> <laughs> I ask what's going like, okay, how do you respond? And we that, basically that do a little review session. Really I know. Yeah. But it, it, it wouldn't be an exploitative business model without turning really ugly. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and see you later next month. Bye.